So Otello Real started second part of Euroleague regular season with the three wins in a row. Could you say that uh, the team's performance is satisfied by coaching staff and the players? Uh, I don't think we're satisfied. You know, um, you know, we all came here to win. You know, so we need to put in solid games. I think we're just playing. I think we're playing pretty good basketball right now. We just need to step it up some more. At the first game versus Jalgiris in Madrid, you guys won at the end of the game. What does it need to, for Real to win one more time against Jalgiris, only time in Conas? Oh man, Ooh, we got to play tough, you know, we can't underestimate our opponents because we know this is a good team and like you say, we won close to the end of the game, so we just got to execute our plays and just be ready mentally and physically, that's it. How was it for you to fight against Jalik's big guys in the first match? I mean, it was it was tough just like every opponent we played, uh, it's just I think now I, I know my weaknesses and strengths, so I just got to use my strength against some of these guys. So. So, Coach, uh, Real started the second part of the regular season by three wins in a row. Could you say you are satisfied by your team's performance so far? Well, uh, we, you know, with this tough schedule we're all having, uh, it's difficult to get three victories in a row. It's very difficult because we're always matching up great teams. But um, we were able to get that victory in Istanbul, Cheska and Maccabi at home. But we know that uh, that's finished, that's behind, behind us right now. We're heading to this game knowing that winning here in Kaunas is very difficult. Algiris is playing very solid and we know that we have to play probably better than, on, than on that we did before if we want to win today. Uh, it seems like your youngest player, Luka Doncic, became a very huge factor for your team. What makes this young player such a good player in your league? Well, I think Luka is very solid in almost every part of the game. He got good size, his body is good. He's mentally, he's mentally prepared for this and, and all the work we did on the years before is to, to get a Real Madrid player. So, of course, we're satisfied that he's growing up as a player, but we still think that he can improve things, he can do, uh, he can make the, uh, his players better. Uh, and also he's, uh, like you said, a little bit of a factor, but on a team is. For me, it's not too much just talk about one uh, player. I think that um, that everybody helps Luca to to help the team. So, so I'm satisfied the way he's playing this year. But on a young player like him, we're also expecting uh, more from him. One thing is how do you think is going to be the game. Then you have to match up a little bit what uh, what, what the other team does. Um, I think what is not going to change is our style. We're a team that wants to run, uh, wants to create three points, three point shoots, uh, shots opportunities, but, to, but also I think in the game in Madrid we were very solid with our big guys, all four of our big guys went on double figures, that means we were able to combine a little bit our outside shooting with our inside game and, um, and, and that's probably the factor that, that we want to improve as a team, yes make everybody be positive for the team. Where do you see potential threats from Jalgiris on this upcoming match? Well, of course, there's three-point threat. Uh, I think they improved the, the roster on that this year with the comeback of Milagnis. Pangos, a very good shooter also. Motum opens up the floor. And, um, and, and that creates a lot of opportunity for big guys on the roll, uh, for creators like Versterman, Besterman or Seiburis. Uh, Ulanovas is very solid playing at the three position, going through the offensive boards, play, playing close to the basket. He can also shoot it. So I think that's a, um, a very solid team. What, uh, what almost you have to be aware of everything. Not only he's shooting, he's rebounding, uh, and also defensively, I think they're very tough. So we know it's a difficult game, and we have to be prepared from the first minute. Jonas Machulis didn't go to Lithuania. Yes. Did he give any advice how to fight against his former team, <laughs> Zalgiris? Well, he always says something about Zalgiris and we always have the, the latest news. No? <laughs> but uh, it's a shame that he got sick. We thought uh, Tuesday he, he would be okay for Wednesday or Thursday, but uh, uh, fever keep going up, so, so he didn't come. And, and like he always tells us, we know it's difficult to win here, but but he gave us a lot of energy trying to get this game.